Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So, it has been a while, but like I promised, this time we have something special. We have a guest YouTuber, content creator, all the way from Poland. He is on a call with us to give his opinion to this mu music video, you know, one of the metal titans from the UK, both for my Valentine. His name is Jake. Say hi, Jake. Hi, everyone. All right, without further ado, we're going to get started. Let's go. gonna stop it here and give first impressions um like some of you know um i've seen both from my valentine live like four or five times here in the u.s unfortunately they don't come here as much as i'd like them to because they're from the uk um this is their newest album i believe they dropped this in 2016 maybe 2018 at first they didn't like it because it was very electronic very somewhat modern but over time it grew on me so you know you're all here not just for my opinion, but also for our guests' opinion. So, Jake, what do you think so far? Um, my thoughts are that, <clears throat> well, the using the song itself, it's actually not that bad. It's good. But the music video is so, like, it's really casual. It's just a concert with, like, like slow motion sometimes. It's, like, I, I don't know what should I comment on, the music video or, or the song itself. Whatever you really. want. It's totally up to you. We have enough yeah, time to, so, to do whatever. So like I said, the, the song is pretty nice. I enjoy it so far. But the, the, the music video is just like, I don't know, a casual concert to me. So like you, you'd rather have an actual music video that's a you know, story or promotion, not just a a live setting. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's keep going. Tell me something. Why should I stay? video telling us to stop and go from here so like to me this type of modern metal 
you want to call it modern metal, you know, the very electronic influence, like I said. At first, it didn't really appeal to me, but like I know why Bullet for My Valentine put more electronics in their music because a lot of younger people like electronic mu music, either video game music, electronic dance music, or, you know, pop music, which you're going to find more, you know, the electronic elements like computer made music and pop music, at least from what I've heard. Granted, I don't listen to pop music, but you know, just what I've heard on the radio of what other people have told me. Um, like, as a younger music fan, do you prefer electronics from, you know, computer-generated music put into music like this? Or would you prefer that it's not there and it's just, you know, the raw sound of the instruments that are being played by a actual people? You know, for me, it's really up to how it's made if it's if it like if it if it has something that that out like it stands from the rest then it's good but i think i mostly mostly prefer like music with synth i think like made it all with, with with using computers because sometimes you can you can get even like you can get any any type of sound you want Basically, you can make pretty, pretty cool, cool music with it. But yeah, it it just depends on how it, how it's made, and if it has something that that outstands. Really, yeah, that that makes sense. Like even from you know my world and a lot of my subscribers' world, where we're mostly into you know rock or metal. You know, there's multiple different subgenres of that, and you're going to find elements of other types of music in that. You know, like this, like I said, it's more modern, more electronic. You know, at first I absolutely hated the album, but then when I was in Poland teaching English, for whatever reason, this album, I was just listening to it constantly, and I started to like more of the elements that I didn't like. Like, you know, the, the, the electronics, the, the bass drops, you know, the electronic bass drops, you know, and whatever else, and like, you know, w once I realized that it wasn't overshadowing the other elements of the music, I thought it was tastefully done, especially since, you know, a move like this to me is they're trying to make themselves more um, sonically accessible to, Modern. Younger, to, Some, yeah. to, to a, a younger audience. Because, like, these guys are probably... 10 to 12 years old, older than me, so they're in their mid-40s. You know, so when, when, when they started, you know, the heavier, more angry music with less electronics was big. And now, as times changed, people's, you know, m m m music tastes ha have changed. But let's go ahead and finish this up. So that is it for Bullet for My Valentine. Um, this song, Piece of Me, was off their most recent effort, Gravity. Like I said at first, didn't like it. Now I like it. Is it the best album they've done? No. Is it the worst album they've done? No. You know, it's To me, it's somewhere in the middle. So overall, Jake, what would you say, what were your final thoughts of this song, this type of music? You know, maybe the band members, the concert. You know, is there anything that was intriguing to you like maybe you'd want to go to a concert or like kind of like what are your thoughts well as a not really that much fan of rock music i mean i listen to it obviously i will listen to every kinds of music i like but i don't listen to rock that that frequently well the the music itself it wasn't bad it felt kind of alive to me you know when they screamed out the lyrics, yeah, it it just sounded all kind of alive to me. But the music video, that like how, how they presented it, the 
just just the concert and just i don't know some slow motion stuff mm -hmm. it wasn't that wasn't kind of alive to me i prefer when, when music like that like when songs like that have it have have it, it, their, their own like story yeah told yeah, so in the music video yeah, like for me, it's really hard to capture the actual live setting unless you're there. You know, you're in the moment, you're taking part of the concert with however many thousands of people, and the band is playing live in front of you. It's a whole different experience. It sounds different. It looks different. It's not, you know, chop, 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 polished like this. I agree with you that I prefer an actual mu music video that's tailor-made to the song. So, like... Yes, I think that that's probably, in my opinion, the weakest point of this vi video is the video itself. Like, I, 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 like you, would have liked to have seen, you know, a more artistic video that was based on the song. But, you know, the band yes. probably did this because, you know, they wanted their fans in the music video, you know, just make, maybe their way of saying thank you for 20 plus years of, you know, being fans. It's kind of my thoughts. Oh. Yeah, well, would I? You ask me, would I go to a concert like this? Yes. Yeah. Um. So, I probably would. I if I would get like an maybe a free pass or something, because like out out of curiosity, maybe yeah. But like, I'm not a such a big fan of like loud music myself i mean i lo i love it sometimes it just li like i said it just it just depends on how it's made but yeah mainly i focus on like more calm music or maybe just music that that's just chilling or or maybe it's just setting its own normal theme like i yeah. don't know yeah like this this band by far isn't the heaviest band in the world but they're not the lightest band in in the world um they're probably definitely heavier than the first video we tried to do together um so like you probably like more of like just more you know like you said slower paced rock like i'd probably suggest like the foo fighters something like that you know it's rock more sing-songy there's not really any screaming um so like I, I I think I would suggest something like that. Maybe we could do something like that at some other time. You know, like it's a journey. Life life is a journey. Yeah. Your, your your music taste is a journey. And like as as you said to me before, you know everything changes based on your mood. Yeah, totally. But I still listen to doom doom music, dooms like the game music, which is really fast paced and, and sometimes there are screams in it. So that's weird to me. Doom music <laughs> is actually very heavy. Like they. Uh, the yeah, guy, the guy that that plays that stuff, he usually plays on a seven or eight string guitar, um, or he he just compresses the sounds of a chainsaw or loud loud mower, just compresses them and and yeah, just I, makes. I don't yeah, remember he, the guy's name, but, but like you know, the the guitar inspired mu uh, uh, music is gonna fall into like more of your um, industrial metal, your death core, maybe your death metal style of playing. So you know, it's definitely heavier than what we currently listen to yeah so i just don't understand myself yeah it's maybe like i said because i like every genre of music if it's good if the music is it is good but i don't know it's it's just i listen to every kind of music yeah, but and that's that's yeah. kind of a shocker to me like but you know the more people i meet especially the younger they are they tend to be more open to different types of music, and I think that's cool because it gen it, it brings more of an audience to different types of music. So, yep. I would say in closing, you know, out of ten, what 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 uh, what would you rate this song? Um, the song itself, well, the beat was, um, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't really, I don't know super amazing but it wasn't too bad that's this the beat itself would be fine the lyrics would be fine too i guess so overall i would give it a mm, like the previous song we tried maybe maybe six seven maybe seven but the music video it just it really didn't like if it would be just like a music video with a story yeah maybe a 
something maybe i would give it a higher score but yeah i don't it know. definitely makes no. sense so like as an entire package if the music video was better you'd say eight but the song itself would be seven which still beats out the other song impressive i guess all right well jake thank you for your time thank you everyone for doing this long video with us thank you for inviting me here all right well i hope you are all having a great day or night wherever you're at and as always keep it metal